good morning, young adults and youth. Name of our devotional this morning is Salt. Matthew 5, 13 is um, where I'm taking this devotional from, if you'd like to turn in your Bibles to that. Matthew 5, 13 says, You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled by men. Growing up and still to this day, I love this time of year. And um, one of the main reasons I love this time of year is fresh veggies that come from the garden. My mom would <clears throat> um, always fix and still does just a huge vegetable dinner. Um, and it had all of my favorite fresh veggies in it. And one of the things that I loved the most was my Aunt Pog's pickles <clears throat> and she would um, make her own pickles from their cucumbers in the garden. So I have not had a pickle since she passed away that tasted as good as those pickles tasted back then. So I've been trying to do some research and um, looking up recipes for lime pickles. Um, and <clears throat> what I found is that the secret of pickles um, is salt. And that salt preserves a pickle at its crunchiest state, okay? And it makes it taste the best. Um, so those words go together well, I think. Salt and preserve. As Christians, we act as a salty preservative um, in the world that we live in. We're infusing godly values, or trying to infuse godly values, into this crazy world um, around us. We have the work of restraining evil and advancing good. And just as salt brings flavor into food, we can season to taste our words when the world questions us about the hope and the peace that we have during this time. Um, Colossians 4 verse 6 says, let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer anyone or everyone. Um, preserving good in the world and flavoring our words with the gospel, those are, you may think those are huge responsibilities, and they are huge responsibilities, but you may even think it's impossible, um, especially in this time that we're living in. But God didn't say that we should be the salt of the earth. He said you are the salt of the earth. One thing about salt is it makes you thirsty. So whatever we choose to do from here on, let's not lose our saltiness because our saltiness will make others thirsty. And the only person that can feel that thirst is God and his living water. It's the only person that can satisfy the cravings that are deep within us. So go out and be the salt of the earth. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much um, for all that you've done for us. We thank you for your love and for your mercy and for your grace. And um, Father, we, we even thank you for this time that, that we are living in. Even though it um, can be a stressful time and, and a sad, disheartening time, Father, we thank you that you have given us the privilege to be the salt of the earth. And I just ask you to give these um, kids just boldness and um, help them just to go out and fill the world with the goodness of you. And um, Father, the prayer that comes to mind is, may the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable into your sight O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. So Father, we just pray that for us, 
that every word and every thought that comes through our mind will be acceptable to you and will point others to you so that they can be satisfied. We love you and we praise you. In your name we pray. Amen.